A social weather station survey shows a drop in both the net satisfaction rating and net trust rating of President Rodrigo Duterte. The SWS survey shows 67% were satisfied with Duterte's performance, 19% said they were dissatisfied, while the rest were undecided. That puts his net satisfaction rating at positive 48 or good, an 18-point drop from the positive 66 or very good satisfaction rating the president got in June. Duterte's net trust rating also went down from positive 75 or excellent in June to positive 60 or very good in September. The survey shows 73% said they had much trust in Duterte, 12% said they had little trust in him, and the rest were undecided. Batanes Representative Dina Abad, the wife of former Budget Secretary Butch Abad, dies Sunday. Vice President Lenny Robredo confirms Abad's death in a Facebook post. Robredo says, quote, You will be terribly missed, Congresswoman Dina Abad. The nation lost another treasure. The Abad family has yet to issue a statement on the lawmaker's passing. A Liberal Party member, Abad headed the House Committee on Government Reorganization in the 17th Congress until she was stripped of the post for not voting in favor of the controversial death penalty bill. She was also among the lawmakers who pushed for the passage of the reproductive health law. Abad was also a longtime professor at the Ateneo de Manila University. She served as the founding dean of the Ateneo School of Government. The Human Rights Watch says the Philippine government's refusal to acknowledge the existence of extrajudicial killings under President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs is absurd. HRW Geneva Director John Fisher says the Duterte administration cannot just say that extrajudicial killings do not exist by limiting the definition. The Philippine government's data shows at least 3,850 people were killed in police operations while at least 2,290 others were killed mostly by vigilantes. But despite these huge numbers, the Philippine National Police said there has been officially no case of extrajudicial killing under the Duterte administration. In identifying extrajudicial killings, the PNP used the definition stated under Administrative Order 35 issued by the Aquino administration. Extrajudicial killings are defined in the order as committed by state and non-state forces to silence through violence and intimidation, legitimate dissent and opposition raised by members of the civil society, cause-oriented groups, political movements, peoples and non-governmental organizations, and by ordinary citizens. But Fisher says the Philippines should follow the international definition as it is a signatory to various human rights treaties. He says an extrajudicial killing refers to the killing of a person by government authorities without sanction of judicial proceeding or legal process. It's very, very clear that, uh, that when somebody is, is killed in the context of police operations, there is no judicial process, there is no legal process, uh, there, aren't, uh, there aren't arrests, there aren't charges, it's just, uh, it's just a, a killing which is taking place outside of the, the legal process. 